Hey everyone. Uh, this is just a quick um, kind of introduction to my collared lizards. I know I've covered them before, but I may have just kind of brushed over them. Um, but this is their habitat. They were in a bigger tank with more of like a desert um, atmosphere. Um, I noticed they were jumping and hitting their noses against the top a lot. In fact, we named the male Jumping Jack because he was so crazy. He was always um, running around and acting like totally neurotic. And so we realized that they really didn't want an open, well, in my opinion, if an animal acts crazy like that, there's something wrong. Either the diet's not right, the temperature's not right, humidity's not right, or the cage itself, the habitat is not right. Something was wrong. So um, I went to work and tried to figure out how to make them more comfortable. And I started looking at pictures online and kind of reading about them. And it seemed that these eastern collared lizards spend a lot of time up on rocks. Um, the, really the only time they want down is if they're going to go hide for the night. So I tried to reproduce kind of that type of environment. Um, I made it kind of everything kind of on a second level. Um, so they have a ground level and I put lots of like live plants of course because you know me I love live plants. Um, but they're more of like tropicals or, or I'm sorry they're more like desert plants. So I've got Oliveira over here, I've got hen and chicks in the back there, and then just some creeping thyme over here on the side, which I liked the, the uh, variety of leaf patterns. Um, and then this, this terrarium, it's actually one of the big exoterras, is quite deep. Um, the depth, I don't know if you can really get a, a feel for the depth of this, but it is actually quite a deep um, exoterra. And there's a lot of little hidey areas like, you know, they can get into little cubbies and crooks and nat crannies and um, they, get, they have a lot of hiding places in here um, where they can burrow down into the substrate and kind of get under the rocks, make themselves little burrows. But then they also have some really high basking areas to hide on or, or to, to sun themselves, which you can see they have calmed down a lot. So I think, I think this has been a good move for them. Um, the little female had struggled with eating. She was kind of getting a little bit um, thin, I thought. But now she, you can see, I mean, she is really filling out, um, looking a lot better. They're both looking a lot better. Um, so I think this has been a good move for both of them, getting them into this new type of setup. Um, and it's definitely not as dry as, you know, you see pictures of people doing these collared lizards in like, I mean, it really looks like, you know, full on desert terrariums. But this has actually got eco earth on the ground level. Um, they can actually burrow underneath these rocks um, into the eco earth. Um, and there's little cracks and crannies for them to get in between the rocks so it's it's quite more natural I think for them they seem a lot happier about it they've actually both calmed down a lot um, I'm able to handle them now with um, without any complaints um, so and they're putting on weight which is good because they were getting a little bit neurotic um, in their old habitat so um, I think this has been a good move. And they are really, really cute, as you can see. I really, really love the Eastern collared lizards. And the male's not really flared up right now, but they get really, really blue. He's the little guy on the right there. So, but they have the cutest little faces and the cutest little expressions. They have kind of like, um, like underbites, really strong underbites that just crack me up. Hey buddy, what you doing Jack? So those are the collared lizards. Aren't they cute? I just love her underbite. Their underbites are so cute. What are you guys doing, huh?